another pre-dawn start on the trawl and the fell. And I'm learning more about the trade from Skipper Reg. When you look up there, you can see the actual whole shot. Yeah. You were telling me about one of the units over here that you actually turn her on, log, log everything through the day? Yeah, that's, yeah, electronic logbook over there. Everything's recorded. Well, where does it all go to? Uh, to AFRA, like camera. So back into the fisheries and they... Yeah, they can just keep an eye on what's going on. Probably the, the advantage of that is that fisheries know, you know, how the stocks are and yeah, you know, that's what right. numbers that's what it's are stocked. Yep. So you're looking at a sustainable fishery. That's, I guess everybody's looking for that. It's a morning in spring, but it's still a chilly start for deckhands Tristan and Jordan as they prepare the gear for the first trawl of what's shaping up to be a long, hard day. Well, the first rays of sun have just poked its head through all that cloud out there. The boys down the back of the boat, well, the net's already been shot, so they're bringing it back in at the moment. And Reggie, our skipper, reckons that we've got a really good chance of catching some whiting our target species. It'll be a slow half hour or so as the Nafel trawls the same net at a stately 1.8 knots around the sandy seabed where the whiting ridges after are known to feed. But the ocean is a big place with a lot of different animals living in it, so we already know there will be much more than whiting coming up in this first haul. I'm as excited as everyone else at the thought of what we'll see on the sorting tray. There's a giant jigsaw puzzle of different fish sizes, colours and species bundled up in this net. And although we're confident that the dominant colour will be the silver of school whiting, we know the pressure will be on to get all the different fish types sorted and sometimes discarded with minimum environmental damage. Oh yeah. Well, there she goes, comes over the side. Wow, look at that, we've got octopus, whiting, whole mixed bag of fish. And hopefully, plenty of whiting we can, uh, we can box up. Lots of different fish. These ones here, don't quite know what they are, but they've got like hooks on each side. Look at that, you actually can pick them up. Never seen them before. Really unusual, look at the beautiful tail on them. It's straight over the side for him. A sustainable catch relies on fast, efficient sorting, so it's all hands on deck, including our chef Simon Tarlington and me. Well, loads of fish, Simon, eh? Just amazing the amount of species here. A hell of a lot of different ones. <laughs> you can see here, a couple of ockies. Wow. <laughs> We're going to get a full bucket of those for sure. There's so many other species, but on this drop, just a much bigger, bigger lot of whiting. Uh, loads that size. The fish that we can't use with a catch like this, it's speed. You've got to get the guys all working fast. As you can see, they're working overtime, pushing off back into the water all the fish that we don't really need. But the majority of these fish are all going to be boxed up and sold back at the fish market. Everywhere you look, you're seeing something different. It's quite amazing. Here we go. That's sort of like a sand flathead. And uh, not too bad on size as well. Well, after putting the nets out, this is the first haul. Loads of whiting, plenty of them. There's probably about eight different crates of these guys. We've got heaps of crabs. They're an unusual crab. I haven't seen them before, but obviously they can get good money for the crabs as well. And then you've got a mixed bag of flathead as well as some octopus. And eventually, after a hard day's work of repeating all that trawling, hauling and sorting about a half dozen times, Simon and I have earned ourselves some downtime for the cruise back into Lake's entrance. The dock at the Fisherman's Co-op is a familiar sight by now, and unloading the boxes of all the different species we've caught is a familiar end of day task. It's a nervous time for Reg, as he waits to see how well his day's work has paid off. And I get another chance to see some fast professional filleting in action, this time with the flathead we've sorted. And with that, our day's fishing is done.